Hey everybody, it is Ro. Welcome to the channel. I haven't made a video in like a month because the cat's been down. But she's good now. We're going to make another video here later on the day. But my buddy Dylan's here and we're doing his Octane Red RT, RT Charger. We're swapping out the grills for him. So he's going to have the snorkel grill. The reason we're doing that is so we can put this Hellcat lower air box on it with the filter we got right there. Got the little duct for the snorkel snap. Got everything we need. But first, just jack the car up and take the wheels off. Then you got like a hundred little plastic push pins to pull out. Pull them all out up here on top of this plastic piece. Then you got two bolts for the bumper, one on each side. Then you're going to take all these plastic pieces off right here. On the plastic piece on the inside of your wheel well. And once we take all them plastic pieces off, then we can get to the bolts back here for your bumper. So after we get all these plastic pieces off, we'll be back. All right, so we took these plastic pieces off so you can get behind the bumper. Next thing you wanna do is unhook this marker light right here. Then you wanna undo the plug from the fog light so you don't have anything connected to your bumper still. The wire is pulling when you pull it off. Show you the other side. Same thing, unplug the fog light, unplug the marker light right here. And now, my car don't have this, so I forgot. But we're just undoing the bottom right here. Taking this big plastic shield off underneath the motor. You could leave it on when you pull the bumper off, but when you push it back together, you're gonna have to line this up and other things up. So you just take this off and put it on in later. So I'll get back to you after that. All right, we're back. We got the shield underneath the car off. Now we can see everything. Nothing connected to the bumper. No wires connected to the bumper. Got the top two bolts out of the bumper. Now, we just got these two right here. One right there. And one more right there. And we should be able to pull this bad boy off. We'll be back. Alright, as you can see, we got those two bolts out. One right there, one up top. And I think we're ready to pull it off now. You see that little pin sticking through that hole right there? That's where it snaps in. But I can't record it as I'm pulling it off. So we'll get back with you as soon as I pull it off. All right, we back. We got the bumper off. Pulled right off. Right where these little holes are is where the pin snapped in. So it's literally just three bolts. Three on that side, three on that side, six bolts total, and the bumper comes right off. Now we're going to try to take the bumper apart and put these pieces in first because so I feel like that will be the hardest part. And then we're going to put the lower air box in, take this off, and put the duct that goes to the snorkel. We'll be back. Alright, we got the bumper in here. We're swapping out some pieces now. Right there you got a plastic pin. Right there. And then four right here. And you can lift this part up. Then the top grill. This pin right here, or these tabs, you just pull them towards you and push up from underneath. And if you have two people, one person can pull back and the other person can push up from underneath. Then we ran into this right here. We was wondering why it wasn't coming out. There's these weird little 
pins. Plastic push pins I've never seen before. It has like a little, a real like pin in the middle of it. And from the other side, you have to punch it out. Here's one right here. You can see it's flush right there and not sticking out. So you have to punch that out. And we'll get back on here when we get that out. Shoo, look at that, we got that snorkel grill up top. We gotta put the middle piece in, but we're waiting until we get this bottom one in. So the top one is nothing but clips. The bottom one has a bunch of bolts in it. And on the front side, on the front side of the bumper underneath has bolts also. And it also has tabs. So after we get these bolts off, then we gotta push these tabs in and we'll get it off. All right, we unscrewed all those bolts and you don't have to push these tabs back at all. You just unscrew the bolts and it falls right down in there. I'll show you how, lift this up a little bit. Yeah, just hold it like that. I lifted it up more then. Yep, see these tabs come through like that? It falls out and now it literally just goes right back in there. We'll screw these bolts back in. All right, we got that grill done. Let's carry it over there. We got that grill done. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Better not hit the cat. <laughs> this is about to look crazy. Oh my God, bro, look at that. Got that new grill in, got that snorkel grill in. Got that new black plastic. That shit looks fire, son. Hell yeah. That's how we do it out here, man. That's how we do that. Now we're gonna do this Hellcat lower box and we'll show you as soon as we get started. We got the bumper done. Now we're about to put this lower Hellcat box and filter in. So first thing we're gonna take the shield off and replace it with this for the duct. Then we're gonna take one, two, three, four, four bolts off and take the top lid off and then we'll be able to take the filter out and take the lower box out and I'll show you that in a second. We got the box out now we got to take this rubber grommet off and put it on the new one and well first we got to loosen this headlight and put the duct in and connect it to the box and I'll show you that in a minute. Got the Hellcat lower box on look at that snorkel got the tube right there had to loosen four bolts for the headlight. Oh, it's the fourth one's behind that plastic piece. Well, we got direct air now. Now we just gotta put the bumper back on. Got that bad boy almost done. Put all this plastic in. Did all six bolts for the bumper. One up here, two on the bottom. One up here, two on the bottom. That shit looks insane. We just plug the lights back in. Plug the fog lights in. Plug the side marker light in. And the bumper is done. So all we gotta do is just put this plastic back. Put all these plastic pins back in. Put the bottom on. And put the wheels on. In reverse order. So we'll show you when the car is all the way done. Check her out. Look at that snorkel grill. We got that box, that Hellcat lower box with the tube. Looking good. The wheels all torqued down. Everything put back together. Looking good. That's how you put the Hellcat lower air box and filter on. And the two front grills for the bumper.